Here we are! Let's tell Grandma Grouper where we're going today. I hate that the volumes of these games well, just... Well, hello there, Freddy and Luther. Like garbage. Hi, Grandma! Hi, Grandma Grouper. I'm afraid we don't have much time to visit with you today. We're on our way to Coral Cove Park. You have fun. And be safe. Thanks, Grandma. Goodbye. Wow. Uh, welcome back to the final Freddy Wait Fish game. Wait for me, Freddy! Good Lord Luther, you absolute simpleton. To Freddy Fish 5. The case of the creature of Coral Cove. Hey, Freddy! What is coral made out of? I think it's made out of coral, Luther. Not wrong. So, welcome back to the final Freddy Fish game that we're going to be doing. Um, I think there's a couple of, like, spin-off games. I'm not doing- I'm not doing those. These were just... The writing really came together in the last two Freddy Fish games, but... I'm not doing any more Freddy Fish games. I'm going to move on to Putt-Putt probably next, and then and then uh, Spy Fox, I think, is the last one. But, uh, yes, yeah, so um, it's been a real fun bringing this series to you guys. Uh, if you want to see more of these humorous entertainment games, please be sure to like and subscribe. It lets me know that you guys are interested in the goods I am trying to peddle. Uh, but anyways, let's, let's get this one over with. Uh, it'll feel so good when we're done. Oh shit, something's going down. Oh, this is like the only We're Freddy Fish game. We're not gonna let some sea monster keep us out of Coral Cove Park, are we? No! I say we drive the monster out! That's what I say. Drive the monster out! <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. What's going on here? I'm Marty Sardini. I developed Coral Cove Park into a beautiful attraction. But Mayor Marlin has closed it due to sea monster sightings. And we're not gonna let some sea monster spoil our fun, right? Right! <laughs> Wait a minute. That guy is stoned out of his mind. Have you seen this monster? I have, and it scared the dickens out of me. It scared me too. Something seems fishy here. But Freddy, we are fish. No, Luther. I mean something doesn't seem right about all this. An angry mob is no way to solve this. Luther and I will figure out what the sea monster wants. Just give us some time. She's making sense, Marty. Let's give the kids a chance. Hmm. All right. You've got till the end of the day. Then we drive the sea monster out of the park! Deal. Gee, I don't know, Freddy. A sea monster sounds scary. Don't worry, Luther. I'm sure there is a logical explanation for why this sea monster is scaring everyone. The first thing we need to do is get into Coral Cove Park to look for clues. Whoa! Where do you think you're going? We're going to investigate Coral Cove Park. No one may enter the park, folks. Mayor Marlin's orders. What if we're here to help? Is there any way to get in? Your only option is to get this permission slip signed by Mayor Marlin. We're on it! So... I did own this Freddy Fish game, and this is probably the one I do remember the best out of all of the Freddy Fish games. Although, if if you guys have been following closely along in the series, um, it's not really saying much. Anyways, anyways, um, oh goodness gracious, which way to the mayor's office? Hello, I'm Rollo. Who are you? My 
Nice to meet you, Rallo. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. Pleasure meeting you both. I relate emotionally, spiritually, and physically to that fish. What's this fancy gadget all about? This fancy gadget saves you the pain and discomfort of having to reach into unseemly places. Unseemly? Yeah, you know, stinky, dirty, poisonous, hot, whatever. There are all sorts of places I can use that. Watch it work. Wow, that is really neat. It's a bargain at three purple sea urchins. <laughs> I, remain, I, re, I identify emotionally, spiritually, and physically to that fish. He's, Excuse me, I'm Freddy Fish, and this shit. is my best friend Luther. Who are you? My name is Al B. Cor. I am in the business of card trading. Pleased to meet you, Albicor. It's a purple sea urchin. Good eye, Freddy. Hey, look, a card. Look, it's a trading card. Hey! That's my roof! <laughs> <laughs> Your roof is made out of a trading card? Until I get one like this top-of-the-line cone-shaped roof, yes, that's my roof! Oops, uh, we'll put it back. Maybe we can help you find an orange cone-shaped roof. Then I wouldn't need this hokey trading card roof. My home is my castle, and a little privacy is all I ask for. Same. Hi, Casey. Hi, Freddy. Hi, oh, hey, Luther. What's like going on? Same ago. old, same old. I'm analyzing food samples, but unfortunately my microscope is missing its lens. That must make things difficult. Darn near impossible. Maybe we can find you a microscope lens. That'd be great. Then I could continue analyzing these food samples. Oh my gosh. Dude is a nerd. I have no clue where I'm going. Oh, where's the sea urchin? I got it! Way to go! Whoa! That was kind of cool. Let's get out of here. Alright. Uh, is this town? Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend Luther. The name's Marge. Marge the Sarge. Oh, hey, this is a... Hey, it's Mesomania! I love this game! How do you play it? Well, it's really easy. We both have some schools of fish. I hide your fish, and you hide... That's kind of like Battleship. We've ship. got a case to solve. I remember playing the hell out of that as a kid. That drill book looks interesting. It sure is! I use the drills in here to whip these tetras into shape! What do you mean? I lost my medal, so the Tetras had some trouble respecting my authority. Having that book gives me some clout. So if we got your medal back, would you need the drill book anymore? Uh, nope, you could have the drill book if I had my medal. So there's a fish called a Sergeant Major, and that's, that's what, I'm pretty sure that's what this is a play on. Which is kind of cool. 
Uh, which way did I come from? Barber shop. Which is probably locked. That door's locked. Oh, that's cool. This is like the first one to do sliding. What are you playing? <laughs> Jugs! You are good. Not as good as I should be. I'm still one jug short. And this glass bottle is no substitute. I wouldn't need this bottle at all if I had another jug. Like, they definitely piled on the puzzles for this game. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my friend Luther. Hi there! My name's Kippo! Oh, we can get Tappy here. Ah. I'd love to try to win something from the claw machine. It only costs one purple sea urchin to play. I'm pretty sure we need this. Something in the claw. But I don't know what. I'm going for the fake tattoos. Keep it steady. The claw. Steady. Oh, we got a glow necklace. It's kind of pretty. Wow. Oh no, the claw. At least we got to play the game once before it broke. Yeah, and we got that pretty glow necklace too. I'll wear it if you don't like it. Nah, uh, I'll hold on to it. I'm sure it'll come in handy sometime. Oh, hey, look! Hello there, I'm Earl, the map specialist. Nice to meet you, Earl. Oh, that's the I'm Freddy, and this is my pal Luther. You must be straining your eyes. I lost my glasses in the tide pools out there by those mud skippers. How can you see your maps? I've made do with this microscope lens. That's terrible. If you find my glasses, I'll be able to read maps again. We'll help you find your glasses. Thanks. And that's the end of town. I'm just gonna kinda... All right, so this is the only way we haven't gone. You look like Gil Barker. That's because we're twins. My name's Gillian. I'm Freddy, and this is my friend Luther. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. How many purple like? sea urchins for the glue? One purple sea urchin? You can't beat that. I'd like to buy some glue, please. You've come to the right place! I can offer you top of the line! Ultra fantastic elastic glue! Here you go! Sure, I'm gonna need the glue for something. Thanks! Hi there! I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. We'd like to talk with the mayor if possible. I'm Clyde. The mayor's all yours as soon as I'm done with his makeover. It's just that I'm missing my number 15 fin pick. Where could it be? It must be back in my barber shop. I'm so absent-minded these days. I'll go look for it. We'll go look for it, if you'd like. What dears? Quick as a bunny, just run over to my barber shop. The fin pick should be right there. Hang these keys up on the hook inside the barber shop when you found the fin pick. Okay. He just keeps the keys. He just keeps the Phew. keys there in the. I don't get it. Oh no! Nick stacks! We're gonna be back for that in a second.
Excuse me, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my friend Luther. Hi! Well, hello. My name's Kid Craftsman. What do you use this for? The wrench? I'll use that to take this big ship apart. I can't find a bottle big enough to fit the thing. That must be hard for you. It's a heartbreaker. If only I had a big enough bottle for the ship, then I wouldn't need the wrench. Maybe we can find one for you. That'd be fantastic. I really don't know why the in-game audio is just so garbage. So Nick over here, he's stuck underneath the sign. We need to get, well... Hello? <sighs> is there anybody here? It's Freddy Fish and Luther. Hey, Daddy-O, I'm Nick. I'm back here trying to fix this sign. Daddy-O? Is he talking to us? Sure I am. Everything was smooth as usual when until I the boat I, I think need think to hold this like sign up thing. fell into that stinging anemone. Ouch! How will you get it out? I'm clueless, and I'm trapped here. Can you help? Are you kidding? We'd love to help the clueless. Luther means that we'd be happy to help you put the sign back up. It'd be real hip if you could get a wrench, too. You'll need that bolt and a wrench to fix the sign. We're happy to help. Yeah, I really don't know why the desktop audio is just so shit. Like, I think I sound okay, but for some reason... pick because I think the next thing to do is to go into town is to go into Coral Cove Park. I wonder which key will unlock the door. It might be this key. Wow, such complicated. That's it! We're in, Luther! Whoopee! It took five games, but he finally mastered the backflip. There! The keys are on the hook! So Clyde knows right where to find them. And I see Finn picks already. And he wanted the number 15 Finn pick. This must be the Finn pick Clyde needs to give the mayor his makeover. We'll soon find out. Your pick. This should be the right fin pick, Clyde. Ooh, you're so efficient. Now can you finish the mayor's makeover? But of course, I'll only be a moment. Hold on. See you tomorrow, Mayor Marlin. Splendid, splendid. He gets a makeover every day. Well, that's your tax dollars at work. Mayor Marlin, we have a permission slip we'd like you to sign. It will allow us into Coral Cove Park so we can solve the mystery of this terrifying sea monster. There is a sea monster terrorizing the citizens of Coral Cove, isn't there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I remember this part. Thanks, Mayor Marlin. Now, Officer Beverly will let us into Coral Cove Park. Good luck to you both. The citizens of Coral Cove are lucky to have you here in times like these. Wow! I 
suppose, to the park we go. Now let me in. Here's the permission slip signed by Mayor Marlin himself. You don't say, well I'll be. Go on in, but remember what I said. That sea monster is huge. And it's evil. No fear, eh, Freddy? No fear, Luther. <laughs> Another purple sea urchin. Ooh, I very distinctively remember this next cutscene, too. What's this? Yuck! It smells horrible! Look at the size of the bite taken out of it! <laughs> that bite's big enough to be a sea monster's! That's just what I was thinking, Luther! The sea monster must have been eating this and dropped some. We are hot on the monster's trail now. We just need to get this sample hey, in right. I suppose we're going to take that back to the nerd kid. Those meddlesome kids are going to ruin my grand plan. Oh, we need the sergeant's book to Marge's Sarge the Marge to get past that one. It's all coming back to me! Ooh, purple a sea purple urchin. sea urchin just waiting for me to come along. I saw that one first! I always thought this looked like a mouth. Oh. Ooh, 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 the pot! Glue is great, but I need to put the pieces in the right places. I remember this puzzle. That piece fit per- Good one, Freddy. We're getting somewhere- That piece- We're getting somewhere now. Smart! Yeah. I'm done! Just like new. Now we're making progress. Look at that mud skipper jump from puddle to puddle. He sure looks like he's having fun. Oh, we have to jump in a specific We can path. only jump to puddles next to this one. Start. I swear, this game. We made it, Looper! Yeah, we're good! It's a pair of glasses! Do I look smarter, Freddy? No, you look like Way an absolute smarter, Luther. Let's put them away for safekeeping.
There's her metal. Marge's Sarge's metal. But I need the super grippy thing for that. Look, Luther, a purple sea urchin. I saw that one first! Here's a way in to the shipwreck, but this door is locked. Oof. Are you sure? Yes, we need to find another way in. Luther, you can fit in there. Oof! 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 I'm too big to fit through this hole. Let me try! Like a dream! Luther, you need to unlock the door so I can get in too. You got it, Freddy! Oh, um... Okay, so this must be the pattern to open up the door. Okay. So, but, but... Middle, okay. So I'm gonna move this there. Maybe moving those colors around will unlock the door in the room above. Then I can let Freddy in. That should be it. So amusing. It's an orange safety cone. Just what we needed. Uh, there was something down here I want to... It looked like it could be interacted with. Alright, let's get back to town. We got a lot of stuff here. First things first. I'd like one, please. They cost three purple sea urchins each. That's not going to do me any good. Oh my gosh. Here's another purple sea urchin. You're still one short. Shut up, I know! That's not going to do me any good. Here's another purple sea urchin. Oh, I'm Great. basically touching it. That's kind of cool, actually. I'll admit, that was kind of cool. Do you have any hobbies? I do not have any hobbies. Trading cards consume all my time. This safety cone is just like the one in your magazine. What? It's a spitting image! Structurally, your home will be much more sound with this cone, sir. You bet it will! Why don't you go ahead and take that old trading card? Thank you! I really don't know what to do with the trading card. Could I trade this card for a different one? Which card would you like to trade for? I don't know. I'd better hang on to it for now. Fine and dandy. Okay, so I'm not ready for that yet. Alright, I gotta think about how... 
Let's go this way first. I think this was the first game where you kind of like scrolled along this. Yeah, where you could like navigate and it scrolled along with you instead of uh, your position remaining stationary, your view remaining stationary. Check out this jug. It matches the rest of your set. It's like we've reunited the jug family. Are you for real? I can keep this jug? Hooray! Of course. Here, take this glass bottle. Thanks. Okay, that's great. It's a taffy making machine. Yum! How long have you been in the taffy business? My whole life! Kipper's Taffy was my grandma's store. I come from a long line of kippers who own the taffy shops. Can't you tell? Oh, I can tell. Coffee. Yuck! I don't know what to do with this. These are getting worse as I go on. And the claw is busted. I actually got a really bad storm going on in my way. It like just got my glasses? dark in my house. My glasses! I can see! I can see! Thank you! May we have the microscope lens? I'm so good at this game. Yes! Please take that thing out of my sight! My glorious sight! Thank you! No! Thank you! going to kind of skip past most of the swimming animation. Ha! I got the bolt! This extended arm is a miracle of modern science. I'll say. Whoever said no pain, no gain doesn't know what they're talking about. Oh, no. I guess we're all done with the extended arm anyway. Oh, I just remembered. The extender arm you don't use to grab the Sarge's metal because it doesn't reach. But I don't remember what you have to use for that. I hope this is a big enough bottle. Oh, splendid. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? This guy's a little bit of an asshole. Because his next door neighbor's literally trapped under a sign, and he wouldn't give us the wrench. And he won't give us the wrench to go free him unless what we help him. What a wonderful gift you brought me. Dude's kind of a you dick. You saved me the pain of dismantling my work. So I believe that these two are rival in Do rival businessmen, and he wants to sabotage Nick and his tool of destruction out of my sight. Even though my Nick is, is like safe the coolest the dude ever, home. I think. Nick really is the coolest well, dude ever. Well, take good care of it.
need this magnet. A magnet might be useful. How much is it? It's free. Consider it my gift to you for helping fix my sign. What a deal! Ooh, this it just started to regularly downpouring in my house. Oh, it's so cool. If you'll probably be able to hear it on the recording, actually. Oh, it's so awesome. I love it when it rains. I used to live down south and we just got torrential thunderstorms and to me that was the best thing you know i went through quite a few hurricanes in my time down south and you know i know hurricanes are horribly destructive things but uh i really liked it when i was younger i just looked at it as oh boy giant storm you know and you know i absolutely love giant storms oh, it's so beautiful try this lens casey Yeah, you will probably be able to hear the storm on the recording. That did the trick. I can see through my microscope again. Thanks, Freddy and Luther. It's our pleasure. I'll take a look at this, if you wouldn't mind. Ooh, I hope my poor... Could you take a look at this food sample? Outsider, we okay. found it in Coral Cove Park. This food is highly unique. It's a kind of sea cheese, and it's only found in Tetra Caves, and it's typically only eaten by sea monsters. Jackpot! Ah, the plot thickens. Mm hmm. Just as I suspected. You suspected nothing! Come to think of it. Look at this key I found the other day. Ooh, we're gonna need that key. It has traces of the same food substance on it. Why don't you take it? It may come in handy for you. Thanks, Casey. Luther, we should have a look inside this Tetra Cave for clues. Alright, so the next thing I'm gonna do... The next thing I need to do is get... I don't know what the next thing I need to do is. Oh, I need to get Sarge's medal. So let's go this way. That's a metal over there. Made I think you're right. It's a metal metal. A metal metal. It's too bad you lost the magnet, Freddy. Oh, well, we don't need it anymore. A magnet was all we needed to get the metal over here. The attraction is obvious. Luther, you absolute simpleton. Um, Sarge. I still don't know what I need this baseball card for. Look, here's your medal! You don't say! It is my medal! It fits perfectly into the blank spot on your uniform. Of course it does. Thank you both. Do you still need the drill book? No, you can have it. Thanks. All right, progress. Okay, so... All right, so we're gonna use the book on these mm. fish. Sea cheese currents. Lead fin. Owned to a burp. Owned to a burp. I don't care who says it's rude. I don't care who says it's rude. Burping helps me digest food. Burping helps me digest food. <laughs> Ah, I figured it out. There they go! Perfect! Now we can get through that door. Boop. 
Oh, it stopped torrentially downpouring. That's a shame. Yes! That was the key! It sure is dark in here. This is creepy. Let's Same. leave. Not so fast. We need something to light up the cave so we can look for clues. Oh, yeah. Perfect! The glow necklace lights up the whole cave. Whew! I feel better already. Now we can look around for clues to where the sea monster is. Look, it's a clue! One, pick up some sea cheese. Two, scare townspeople away from my home. Three, order 50 pounds of taffy for delivery. This must be the sea creature's to-do list. Are you sure? I'm positive. We need to find the address of this 50 pound taffy delivery. That must be where the sea monster lives. Oh, we I think we used the the baseball card for a, like a trade, I, I think, to get information. I think that's the only thing I can think of it being. Yeah, man, this is turning into another really long episode. As I notice, the Freddy Fish games go on, they just get longer. Oh, he's got a different guy in there now. Has anyone ordered a large amount of taffy for delivery today? Say... 50 pounds of taffy? Woo! That means the bill somewhere, but I don't remember any details! Is there any way to find that information? Yeah, if I could remember the password to my computer, we could look it up! What's your pet's name? Mother's maiden name? Luther's trying to steal no. her identity! I had the password written down on the back of a trading card, but then I traded the trading card! Tell us more about that trading card. Well, I seem to recall it had a picture of a drawn boat racer on one side. My password was written on the other side. Got that, Luther? Mad Goat Eraser. Yep, I've got it. Luther, you absolute simpleton. Here's a written description of the card. If you can find it, I could get Luther, into my computer you and look up my delivery records. You peasant. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> Alright, to the trading card place. I'd like to trade this card for the Drag Boat Racer trading card, please. Let's see. Here you go. It was nice trading with you. You too. Thanks. Huh. We're almost there. We're almost to the end. Oh. I don't think they... Could this be the trading card you meant? That's the very one! And the password is still written on it! Check the address on that big 50 pound order you sent out today? You bet! That order went to Smartswood Hall, the deepest crevice in the ocean! That must be where the sea monster lives! Let's go! Rise up, citizens! Reclaim what is yours! What is ours? Yeah! 
Yeah, what is ours? Let's oust the sea monster from his evil lair. Let's make Coral Cove Park a safe and fun place for our whole family. Yeah, oust the sea monster. We're all behind you, Marty. Look at the size of that crevice. Are you ready, Luther? Mm. Yeah, no fear, Freddy. It's a tad bit too spooky for me. Ah! Who dares to darken Zephyr's doorstep? It's just Freddy Fish and Luther. Oh, you're that famous kid detective, aren't you? You've succeeded in finding my new home! What do you mean, your new home? A certain greedy developer drove me out of my real home, Coral Cove Park! He claimed it as his own and turned it into a tourist attraction! You must mean Marty! Why did Marty develop the cove if it belongs to you? Marty has a lot of gall. I have a deed to prove I own this cove, and that didn't stop him. That's bunk. There is no such deed. Zamfir, show us the deed. If what you say is true, Marty is in real trouble. It's right here. Right here! The deed has been stolen! The deed is gone! And so is Marty. Things are going from bad to worse. Then fear, we're going to get that deed back for you. We won't stand for this kind of injustice. Let's go, Luther. I know where Marty lives. Here we are at Marty's house. Oh, it looks more like a compound to me. Let's just stay calm. If we can get in, I know we can find Zenfir's deed. I love how quick the townspeople were going to believe the, f the giant scary sea monster. Ew! This rubber donkey is all slimy. It's a dog toy, Freddy. I guess you're right. We'll hold on to it anyway. Well, we're about to use it. This? Hmm, this looks interesting. It's a medium weight. Who knows? It might come in handy. Uh, she can barely lift it. She puts it in her secret pouch. And then it's, fish. it's fine. Get your rubber ducky. This is bullshit. He loves it. Now we can get past him. If you say so. I'm gonna check around the back here real quick, because I think there's more weight. It's some kind of weight. Hmm. I'll hold on to it for now. I think we need to put that in that cup there to open up some. Uh, Maybe booby trapped! We need yeah. to find a he way said, out of here. He said trap. Hmm. The weight could be useful. Uh. Alright, we've got everything we need to get past this. Look at that tiny window! Maybe we can get out that way. I'm right behind you, Freddy. Weird that it opens in towards the house, but we can't push it. Sweet open. freedom! 
Um, it's so, not such so a weird bad. Thing. I'm trying to apply we need to go back and get game. the deed. That's on me. That fits my. I'm so good at this game. It's just so good. Perfect. Too good, man. I'm now way too we're good at this getting game. somewhere. That does the trick. How did they fall into that? Like, how did they fall into that? They're swimming. We can see into the other room! <laughs> no one will find Xamphia's deed now! Not with it safely locked in my will safe and the combination cleverly hidden in this fake book. <laughs> to get the safe combination out of that fake book. Then we can get Zamfir's deed back to him, right, Freddy? Exactly. Then we can put an end to this mystery once and for all. There's no mystery left. We already discovered the sea monster. We need to get that fake book with a combination inside, but the bookshelf is facing the wrong way. Revolving bookshelves are such a pain. I wonder how we can get around to the other side. Maybe the vase goes here. I wonder what the vase is for. I think the position of this vase means something. Let's borrow it for a minute until we figure it out. Oh yeah, it does. Um, I know what's up now. I need to find something here. Right, I know what to do. I got this. No problem. The door's unlocked now. I think. I Somehow, I think going through this door is still going to put us. Yes. That's the point. Check it. Aha! It's the fake book. All we need to do is figure out this combination to Marty's safe. Oh, it's gonna be so easy. This key must be important too. I'm going to hold on to it until we get the D. And I know right where that key's gonna be used. First off, I was barely paying attention to most of that combination. So we gotta match the lights, the position the of the boss. The shade of mirror changed to the, red! The candle, and then open up that, uh... No, hang on a second. This is just gonna... All we need to do is figure... Alright, so then I've got that. I need to throw the vase there in 176. The vase's position means something. It's the common. Yep, got it. <laughs> then the key here. Look, a one set six. Enter. Aha. It's a really cool Here's little, it's like an escape room. It says that Coral Cove Park belongs to Xamphir Duncan Dunbury Valentine. Just like Xamphir said it would. Security! Security! I got intruders in the compound! I got intruders in the compound! It's martial law! It's anarchy! Security! 
How'd you get in? You're all under arrest! Hold up right there! <laughs> I understand there's a dispute over the rightful owner of Coral Cove Park. What's this about? Marty should be under arrest for theft. This deed but proves that Coral Cove belongs to Lamphere. Is this true? Marty, have you any defense? Now I see why Zamfir turned into such a scary sea monster. Marty ruined his home. This whole mess is Marty's doing. This deed I'm holding proves that Zamfir Duncan Dogberry Valentine owns Coral Cove. Hip hip hooray! I am sorry for scaring you all away. I was only trying to stop Marty. Thanks to Freddy and Luther, we stopped him once and for all. Marty's community service hours will keep him busy cleaning up this mess for a long, long time. As the rightful owner, you can choose what happens with Coral Cove Park. What do you think? Let's bring down these walls and this gate. We can all play in Coral Cove Park now. Hooray! Resolution! I think that's it. Um... Well, thank you all for your uh, watching of uh, Freddy Fish 5. Um, I, I suppose when we come back for our next nostalgia... Uh, nostalgia series. Uh, Return to Nostalgia series. We're gonna start, uh, we're gonna start the... Uh, I think the Putt-Putt franchise. Then we'll do the Pajama Sam. Then we'll do... Excuse me. Then we'll do Spy Fox, so we got a lot more, um, a lot more things to accomplish in this playlist. But uh, thank you all for your support on the series so far, and I will see you next time for some putt putt. Later.